Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to retrieve conversation transcript when using Salesforce Messaging for Web APIs. If you are using uh, Salesforce Messaging for Web REST APIs to invoke uh, messaging uh, services uh, so that a messaging session will be created, it will be uh, uh, routed to an agent and then if you are having any third party application using uh, messaging for rest uh, the messaging for web rest apis and then if you have a requirement where you wanted to download the conversation transcript then we can make use of uh, transcript uh, uh, path um, in the messaging for web rest api uh, uh, endpoint uh, if you are uh, pretty new to salesforce messaging for in app and web rest api then you can make use of this link where we have to create a messaging channel and then we have to create embedded service deployment. In the messaging uh, channel, we have to make sure let customers download their conversation transcripts. Uh, option is enabled. This is mandatory if you wanted to uh, download the uh, 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 transcript. Okay. Um, and then we have to make a get request to your Salesforce uh, SART uh, URL. Uh, we will get this URL from uh, the code snippet from the embedded service deployment. Slash IA message slash API slash V2 slash conversation slash conversation ID. When we create a conversation, we pass a UUID to create the conversation. So we have to make use of the same UUID so that uh, we will be able to get the transcript so conversation id slash transcript so when you do a get request um, with the header authorization as a bearer space uh, access token then we will be able to uh, download it i have also given a sample uh, python code for your reference you can also make use of python uh, so now let's uh, uh, see a demo uh, how to connect to um, the transcript uh, download uh, endpoint and then uh, do download it from the postman. Uh, the first step is we have to get an access token. Next, we have to create a conversation uh, uh, in Salesforce. In order to do that, I need a UUID. So I'm going to get uh, an UUID. I'm going to make use of this as the conversation ID. The conversation is created. It will create a messaging session in my Salesforce org. I'm going to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to subscribe to the server sent events. I can send a message. an issue so I'm going to send a message because of some extra spaces it is not sending let me fix that is not okay I, I have to change this so let me get one more UUID so this is another UUID to send a message uh, meanwhile to keep the session active testing test these are all the message uh, from the agent so here I have to use another UUID. Okay, there is some issue. I have to use a slash message. Interesting. Uh, let me make use of uh, okay. 
in order to send a message I have to use this okay so I was able to send a message so this is the testing message from uh, postman I am going to close the conversation conversation is closed now I am going to export it let me send uh, a get request I, I, I am able to see all the conversation that happened between uh, the agent and the user okay now let's see how to do the same using uh, um, Python so in Python I am making use of uh, open uh, method and uh, I'm going to open a file called conversation transcript.pdf and then uh, I'm going to um, open it in uh, bytes format and then uh, using uh, request library I'm getting the get method from the get method I am I am doing a get request with the header uh, I'm just printing uh, printing the status code once I get the response content I'm writing it to this uh, PDF file so as of now if I go to um, so here I don't have any file called uh, conversation script transcript so let's run this okay so first I have to get the access token next I have to create the conversation in Python next I have to subscribe to it I'm able to get the messaging session so I'm going to send a message testing from Python is the message so I should be able to see that message I'm going to send uh, testing done demo so these are all the messages I'm sending it as an uh, agent um, so now here if I want to close the conversation I can close it so I'm going to download it so let me download the file now okay status code is 200 so it got downloaded so this is the file so make use of uh, this endpoint URL uh, you have to use your uh, uh, SCRT2 URL so that you will be able to download the conversation transcript please check the video description in the video description I have given my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get the Python code which uh, I was showing it uh, on the demo for your reference and also you should be able to get the screenshot uh, and the endpoint with uh, uh, more information from the blog post so that you can play around I hope it was helpful Thank you for watching.